Our next SQL command for MySQL is the SELECT command. Now looking at our products table here, if we go to the Browse tab, you can see here is a SELECT command already written for us, just like everything else in PHP MyAdmin. When a database command is run, the website writes out what the command is when it carries it out. So here are all of our products in this table. Now this SELECT command, if I go to the SQL tab to write it, that first thing is written for us again. SELECT STAR FROM PRODUCTS WHERE 1. Now there's that's not required. If I just run the SELECT STAR FROM PRODUCTS and I click the GO button, there we go, I get the same thing. PHP My Admin puts this limit on to the end to limit how many records are selected. Starting at record 0, bring back 30 records. So let's let's try adding that onto ours. Select star from products, limit, starting at record 0, bring back 2, we'll say. So 0, 2. There it is. We've brought back two records. Great. So that works. Now this is something you can add onto the end, any, end of any SQL command. Limit 0, 2. Any SQL select command, you can put this in to say, here's the starting number, and here's the number of records I want back. One more attempt with this, we'll say limit, starting at record 2, bring back two records. Go, there we go, there's product ID 4 and 6. Those were the third and fourth records in our table. If I browse, we can take a look, there they are. Oh, sorry, there we go. John Deere Motor and Old Cheddar Cheer Old Cheddar Cheese. <laughs> okay, so now to get a little bit more complex with these select commands, select from products, and instead of just saying star, which means all the columns, I'm gonna say give me the product ID, the product name, and the product SKU. And that's it. I'm going to ask for these three columns from this table. No limits, just run that. And there we go, here's my result set. Only three columns, because that's all I asked for. Now you also note that these come back in the same order that I've requested them up above. If I change that order, so if I say here, select Category ID product skew from products and run it. That's what I get in the in that particular order. Category ID product skew. Okay, so we can ask for specific columns from the table. We can ask for all the columns with the asterisks. Now filtering. If I want to get product ID and category ID from products and I want to add a where just like we do for the update and the delete command. If I want to filter my re result set I can do that here as well. Where category ID equals 2. This is the video category so I want to get the product ID and the category ID which should come back as 2 copy that, run this, there we go, product ID 8 and 9 both from, come from category ID 2. That's exactly what we asked for. Select product ID, category ID from products where category ID equals 2. Alright, great. Now, if I have that same command again, I don't need to include category ID in the list of requested columns. I can just simply say I want the product ID and the product name from products if the category ID is 2. Run that and there we go. Product ID, product name coming back. Remember product ID 8 and 9? Those were the ones for category 2. So I've got the records that I want. Alright, that's the end of part 1.